hotties, Erica here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today's video starts a brand new Sweetness Face series and I'm going to be doing some updates in my bathroom. So this face actually got a little mini makeover last year, but to be honest, I didn't like it. It didn't sit with me exactly how I want it to be. So I'm gonna be keeping a lot of the things in here, but I'm gonna be changing up some things as well, adding some trim work, just making it look overall more polished, and I'm gonna take you along for the ride. So this is episode one of Sweet in the Space, my bathroom makeover, and I hope you enjoy it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, give it a big old thumbs up, and leave a comment down below if you're liking what you're seeing so far. Thank you guys so much for being here, and I hope you enjoy the makeover. Check it out. Mwah. Okay, so here is what we are starting with. I know my bathroom's a wreck right now. Don't judge me. I know I was going to be doing this makeover, so I just left it messy. But I really just want to lighten up the space. Right now, it just feels kind of heavy with all the products that I have. And I want to lighten up the vanity. I want to add some cool wall trim to the space. I just want to make it feel a lot more polished than it currently does. Like, I mean, just look at that wall rack on the wall. We need help. So here's my plan for the makeover. I'm going to add some wall trim on the one side of the wall. I'm also gonna update my vanity with some slats and a fresh paint color. I'm gonna use this super cute light pink color from Claire Paint called Meet Cute. We're adding a luxury bidet toilet seat from Omigo. I'll tell you more about that later in the video. And a bunch of fun new accessories that are just gonna make this space feel more polished, lighter and brighter. And I am just so excited for this makeover. I really think it's gonna come together. So the first step is I need to organize this space. Decluttering, cleaning, I gotta do it all because it's a mess. I got my cabinets all emptied out here. Can you believe how much stuff was in these drawers? And I still have baskets underneath with more products. Nobody needs this many bath products, let me tell you. Um, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the removable wallpaper that I had put in here because you can see some of it got dirty and I'm gonna put a different wallpaper inside of there just to give it a fresh update on the inside but also because there's just a bunch of gunk on here from just general use. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel this up and hopefully, let me see, hopefully it's gonna come up easy, oh yeah. Good to know. Removable wallpaper inside these Ikea veneer drawers definitely comes up. So I will be working on this and I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. I am actually so proud of myself right now because this is all that's left of that full box from before. I need to go through my essential oils and throw out the ones that I don't use or that might be leaking or something, but this is all I've kept beauty product wise from that giant box of craziness. Okay, I am organizing these drawers. I have these really cute bottles that I labeled for my skincare. I've got my lotion, my toner, and my cleanser all right next to each other. And then um, just like some masks and things that I think I'll use frequently. I also use this daily scrub a lot and then I use this different gel a lot. So got a few essentials there. I've got my Q-tips that I'm going to store inside of here. I've got a couple of little containers I'm gonna put inside of here. And just kind of organize this whole space of all the stuff I use regularly. So that way I have all the stuff that I need every day at my disposal. I wanna show you guys the progress I have made on the drawers. Looking pretty dang good. I have all of like my regular skincare stuff in here. I'll probably be adding a couple more things. And then just like my toothbrush, toothpaste, a little ring dish in case I need to put any jewelry there. Got my flossers, my Q-tips. Um, keeping it real organized and simple in here. You can tell I've gotten rid of a lot of products, so it's nice and streamlined. Hi, Jake. Are you helping? 
Step two is updating the vanity. I'm going to add some slats to it and I'm gonna give it a fresh coat of paint. I think this is gonna make such a huge difference because it's like that standard black brown Ikea color that I really just don't like. So this is gonna be a refresh for the vanity and it's great because I didn't have to spend the money on a brand new vanity. So I'm starting by priming the cabinet and let me just say the Ikea finish, like that kind of veneered finish is a little bit hard to paint over. So that's why I always recommend you prime first. So I'm giving this a good couple of coats of Claire Paint Primer that they gifted me a few months back. I had some left over. And honestly, I think I did like two, possibly three coats on here because I wanted to make sure that none of that black was peeping through. It looks like it was done so speedy, but <laughs> it took me forever, I'm not gonna lie. And then now I'm giving it this beautiful color, Meet Cute by Claire Paint. It's the cutest nudie pink. It's light, it's girly, but not overly girly. I just think it's so fresh, and I think in this space, it's really gonna brighten the whole room up, and I just love this color. I wanna use it in every single room in my house. Honestly, I would paint a wall that color, but I don't have a wall to paint that color, so the vanity it is. But I did a couple of coats of the Meet Cute on top of the primer. So now I've busted out my miter saw inside because it was the dead of winter when I started this project and there's just nowhere to not freeze and saw. So I'm cutting a bunch of slats for the vanity and I'm just using my DeWalt 18 volt 20 gauge nail gun and I'm nailing in all of the slats using a level between each one. I did do the math to measure out how many slats I wanted on there and how much space needed to be between them to make the math even. And somehow, by the grace of God, it worked out. So here's what it looks like. Y'all, I am so dang proud of myself. I got all the slats on. The spacing worked out perfect. My math ended up working out great. And then now it's time to paint the slats. Give another coat to the side of the cabinet here and the vanity will be almost complete. So excited about this one. Okay y'all, here is a very important step. I now have to fill all of these holes for my nail gun. I'm using this color changing wood filler from Minwax. It starts out as pink and turns to yellow when it's ready to be sanded. I just have three nails on each one and then I'll sand it and then I'll be able to paint the whole thing. Okay, now it's time to give it all one more coat of that meat cute color. Do not mind my messy hallway. I was just putting extra stuff outside there while I was working on the project. I used a paintbrush and I used a roller, a combination of both in order to get into all the nooks and crannies. This thing really came to life once I gave it all the same paint color. So beautiful. I love how this vanity turned out. And you can see it's kind of more like a nudie pink color than like super, super girly pink. So I really love that about this. Step three is adding wall trim. So the other wall, I wanted to make a little bit more polished. So I'm going to add one by threes, a one by four panel and a one by three shelf on top of that. And I'll show you exactly what I mean as we get into the footage here. Okay, so the first thing is we had to put up the one by four board and my husband was kind enough to help me with this. I put the shelf on top temporarily because I wanted it to line up with that line on the side of my shower, the grout line. So I made sure that was nice and level and I nailed it in with my nail gun. And now it's time to put the slats on the wall. So I think it ended up being like roughly 13 inches between each one. You'll have to do the math in your own house to figure out what spacing works best for you. But I knew I wanted to do four sections with three slats. These are one by threes and then I'm just filling them with wood putty, sanding them, and then caulking all the gaps and then I'm going to be painting it. I am using one of my favorite paint colors. I use this in my craft room. It is Fresh Kicks by Claire Paint, and it's probably my favorite white paint color. So the walls are actually one of their other colors called Whipped. It's a slightly off-white color, so I wanted to add a little bit of pop to the trim, so I made it this dark white. So here I've added just some hooks that I got from Amazon and I painted them white and then I added the shelf on top. 
And I just wanted a little shelf to put a piece of art, maybe a couple of essential oils, and I think it turned out so, 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 so cute. Here's my husband and I putting it on there. So I put a little bit of glue down, and then I made sure it was level, then I nailed it in. I wanted to make sure this shelf was nice and sturdy because I did not want anything falling off of there. So the next step is to add all my decor and accessories. The first thing I'm gonna add is the most genius idea ever if you have a small bathroom. I never thought about this before, but I saw it in an anthropology ad. Putting my soap dispenser on the wall, like mounting it above the actual sink. So that's what I'm doing here. And I found this cute little soap dispenser from Amazon. I spray painted it the gold color. That's the same color as my mirror. Made sure it was level. And you literally can hang your soap dispenser from it. How cute is that? So now I have the counter space in a small bathroom. I also got some new frames and I went to Office Depot and had some wall art printed. This print is from Etsy. Everything in my bathroom will be linked in the description below if you're looking to shop for anything, but I thought these frames were really cute and these prints were cute as well. Here's another one of the prints that I picked out. It's from Black Prints on Etsy. I love going to Etsy for artwork and then having it printed out at Office Max. Well, I'm just sitting here by my toilet seat casually. Um, well, for a reason, because this video is sponsored by Omigo Luxury Bidet Toilet Seats, and I have their highest end luxury model. And let me tell you, by the way, it's clean, don't stress. Really clean. But I, of all the things that I did in this bathroom, I feel like this is the best <laughs> upgrade I've made. I love all the different you know, details I put in, but this, this is the real tea right here. So this guy comes with a remote that I normally keep in this little rainbow wall planter that I got from World Market, but I took it out to show you guys. And there's so many different functions and features on this thing. If you've never used a bidet before, let me tell you, it's an enlightening, refreshing experience that you will not want to be without ever again. So there are rear and front washes, and you know what I'm talking about when I say that, okay? It gets all up in your business. And you can change the water temperature, the spray width, like how, like, strong of a stream is going up there, you know? And then also you can heat the seat as well. You can deodorize it, sterilize it, and you have the option of setting um, preferences for two users on this thing. It also glows at night. The inside of the bowl, there's a blue light in there, which is great for when I'm like stumbling around in the dark in the middle of the night having to go to the bathroom. I don't have to turn on a super bright light. They have three different models of their bidet toilet seats, plus they have a couple of attachments that you can choose from that just attach to your existing toilet seat and connect to your water. This thing plugs into the wall. I have the plug underneath the vanity here and going up the wall and into the outlet somewhere up there, yep. And it gives me warm water every single time as soon as it hits the tush. So I cannot say enough good things about the Omigo bidet toilet seat, but also I wanna thank them for sponsoring this whole room makeover and I'm so excited to show you guys how it came out and all the hard work I put into it. So check it out and thank you to Omigo.